Dude, do not even fuck with her head. She knows what we went through together this week, and you don't. There's no way you can break up our team. This is reality. After five years, you're still Max Caulfield. I am seriously glad to see you. Welcome home, Max. Fasten your seatbelt. Trip down the memory lane of all of our memories with Chloe. I, I, uh, know it was your birthday last month. This was my real father's camera. I want you to have it. Yes, of course it's cool. Thank you. This camera is so sweet. Now that we got that mushy shit out of the way, I feel like stage diving. Let's thrash this place. Yep, yep, I'm fucking insane in the brain. Let's dance. Shake that bony white ass. Or take my picture with your new camera. This song fucking rules. Can't dance. I, uh, this song fucking rules. Can't dance, hippie? Come on. Rock out, girl. Yo, turn it off. Turn it off. You need to hide now. My stepdad will kill me if he finds you here. You were here today, Max. You saved me. I'm still tripping on that. Seeing you after all these years feels like... Destiny. If this is destiny, I hope we can find Rachel. I miss her, Max. What the hell is this? Snowflakes? Or a storm is coming? Max, start from the beginning. Tell me everything. Let's talk about your superpower. Epic! I pledge allegiance to Max and the power for which she stands. You can rewind time, Max. That's fucking insane. We have to play. You need a sidekick to guide you. Okay, girl wonder. Show me the way to Chloe's cave. Welcome to American Rust, my home away from hell. Raw and rough. It suits you. Max, do you know how awesome this is? I get my best friend back, and she's also super-sized? I don't feel so super. Uh, Max, here, um, let me help you find a place to chill. You freaked me out there. Do you feel any better now? You saved me again! Crazy. Now we're totally bonded for life. Since you're the mysterious superhero, I'll be your faithful chauffeur and companion. My powers might not last, Chloe. That's okay. We will. Forever. I'm so glad you're my partner in crime. As long as you're my partner in time. I might get on the other side of that door before you, Lupin. The race is on. See you soon. Welcome to my domain. You are magic! I have no clue how the hell you got in there, but you did it, sister. Max, you better come check out these files. It's not a drawing. Look. Rachel in the dark room. Rachel in the dark room. Over and over. That's it. No, you are not taking the cozy chair. Max, do your powers include mind reading? Or did you just rewind because I tried to steal the chair? Shit, I'm confused. It's the powers of best friendship. I know how you roll. Bunga. Why look, an otter in my water. Your power is changing everything, Max. Especially you. I can already tell. You're not so chicken shit anymore. Thanks, girlfriend. 
And you make me feel like I have a reason for still being in Arcadia Bay. Let's call it a draw. I'm gonna freeze my ass off when I get out. You look cute with your hair soaked in chemicals. Hide! Hide! You can't go back to your dorm now, you're a Blackwell fugitive. Crash at my place tonight. It feels like a different world from yesterday. We left a skid mark on Blackwell last night. I wish we could just hang out all morning like we used to. Maybe we should get up. I have to get back to Blackwell soon. I double dare you. Kiss me now. Damn, you're hardcore, Max. Now I can text Warren and tell him he doesn't stand a chance. Unless he's into girl and girl action. You're such a dork. Oh, we could cruise everywhere in this bad boy. Can you see us heading down the coast to Big Sur and beyond? I know, just daydreaming. That makes me ill that Rachel posed like this for Frank. I wrote him love letters. I can't believe she was banging Frank. Rachel straight up lied to my face. Why didn't she say anything? Because she knew how you would react. And she wasn't much of a friend, huh? Just another person who shits all over me. Why does everybody in my life let me down? My dad gets killed, you bail on me for years. My mother gloms on a step fucker. Now Rachel betrays me. Not until I see it first. You know the rules, Dad. Dude, I am so lucky that my father is cool. Max, you are being so fucking strange. You feel okay? Chloe, I am awesome. We are awesome. <laughs> it's weird hanging out with you again. I know. I'm glad we are, though. Look, the worst thing you can do is treat me like a baby. I still want to laugh and talk shit with my best friend. Can we stop? This is seriously the best view of the sunset. What do photographers call that? The golden hour. Whoa, awesome picture. We look so badass in our pirate gear. We should have taken over Arcadia Bay when we had the chance. Listen, Max, my respiratory system is failing, and, uh, and it's only getting worse. I've heard the doctors talking about it when they thought I was zonked out. So I know I'm just putting off the inevitable while my parents suffer along, and I will too. This isn't how I want things to end. What? What are you saying? I'm saying that being with you again has been so special. I just wanted to feel like when we were kids running around Arcadia Bay and everything was possible and you made me feel that way today. I want this time with you to be my last memory. Do you understand? Chloe, you're back. I'm just, I'm just, I'm so glad you're here. You sound high, but thanks for the morning grope. Since we were up all night playing CSI Arcadia Bay, I was still spaced out here trying to put all this info together. Kate wasn't the first. All those binders are filled with other victims. <sighs> Victoria has to be next. Nathan must be planning to dose her tonight at the Vortex Club party. Rachel. This can't be real. These are all, these are all post shots, right? Right? The junkyard. Max, we have to find that spot now. Then, then we can see what he did. There's no way she's dead. No way. She posed for those pictures, Max. I know it. Please, let's go. 
Rachel. No, Rachel, no, no, please not her. Chloe. I'm sorry, Chloe. I'm so sorry. I loved her so much. How can she be dead? What kind of world does this? Who does this? Out. It's the scene in episode so one. Don't you ever do that again, okay? I swear. But that nightmare was so real. It was so horrible. But you're Maxine Caulfield. And you're amazing. Max. This is the only way. No. I feel like I took the shot a thousand years ago. You... No. You could use that photo to change everything right back to when you took that picture. All that would take is for me to... to... Fuck that. No. No way. You are my number one priority now. You are all that matters to me. I know. You proved that over and over again. Even though I don't deserve it. I'm so selfish. Not like my mom. Look what she had to give up and live through. And she did. She deserves so much more than to be killed by a storm in a fucking diner. Even my... My stepfather... Deserves her alive. There's so many more people in Arcadia Bay who should live. Way more than me. Don't say that. I won't trade you. You're not trading me. Maybe you've just been delaying my real destiny. Look at how many times I've almost died or actually died around you. Look at what's happened in Arcadia Bay ever since you first saved me. I know I've been selfish, but for once, I think I should accept my fate. Our fate. Chloe. Max, you finally came back to me this week and... You did nothing but show me your love and friendship. You made me smile and laugh like I haven't done in years. Wherever I end up after this, in whatever reality, all those moments between us were real, and they'll always be ours. No matter what you choose, I know you'll make the right decision. Chloe, I can't make this choice. No, Max. You're the only one who can.
I can't believe the first thing I said right before I started episode 5 is coming here. It's it's happening. What did I say about two and a half hours ago? I said, if it ever came to choosing between Max and Chloe or Arcadia Bay, then my choice is very clear. Now, I never explicitly said which choice I would make. I just said that I had no hesitation about it. But I think everyone can guess that I meant save Chloe. Is saving Chloe worth it? We could be sacrificing... I don't know how many people live in Arcadia Bay. Let's say maybe... Okay, let's have a very, very low estimate of 200. 200 people in Arcadia Bay versus one Chloe. From a... Uh, what would you call it? Like a global standpoint? The obvious choice would be to save 200 people and let one person die. Because... Well, I assume that we want everyone to live on, we want the human race to live on, and 200 people... Forget about overpopulation and whatever right now, we would want 200 people. Because that's maximizing the happiness of more people, I guess. Utilitarianism. But do you remember what I said when we were when we were driving to Warren and Joyce at the diner? People are very selfish beings. The one fatal flaw that humans have never been able to overcome is their lack of concern for people that don't concern them. And how they'll prioritize people close to them, people who have a real connection with them. So it's kind of like saying, uh, for example, if, if your mom and some stranger fell into a lake, who would you save first? And they both can't swim. Of course you would save your mom, right? Because she's your mom. But it's just that in this case, it's not just one stranger, it's like a thousand strangers. And they're not all strangers too, we have people like Kate, Warren, whatever, everyone at school. So it's more like saving your mom versus your, your second cousin once removed or whatever. <sighs> but you see where I'm going with this, right? If you save your mom over your second cousin once removed, I think everyone can understand that. And don't get me wrong, I'm not saying that saving one person over like 200 plus people is not selfish. It is incredibly selfish. Which really reminds me of a um, Naughty Dog game in recent years that also had a really selfish ending. I don't want to say the title in case if it spoils people, but you should know what I'm talking about if you're familiar with it. But anyways, if you choose this selfish decision, then you have to live with the guilt, which I think is appropriate. Sacrificing hundreds of people to save your best friend. In exchange, you get your best friend's life back, but you also gain guilt. <sighs> this, this really isn't about shipping price field or whatever, okay? This is not in the equation right now. And I know I said previously that the choice is clear to me, but <laughs> when, when it actually comes down to it, who would have known? It's not that clear. Um, It's really, really selfish. But is it so wrong to be selfish? Is it so wrong to want to save my best friend? Max, it's time. Not anymore. Max, I'll always be with you. Forever.
Life is Strange, Season Finale, Episode 5, Polarized. I have a lot of thoughts swirling around right now. I don't want to say too much without organizing them first. But... I can't say I'm completely happy about this ending. Not just because of the ending, but... There were a lot of things that I was looking forward to finding out. Such as how we got this power to begin with. That... Was never talked about. Which... Eh, well, it's a little bit disappointing. Because now it just seems like some random plot device thrown in. Yeah... So it seems that at the end... Chloe... Chloe and Max... The entire Arcadia Bay was destroyed. However, I don't think that necessarily means that everyone who lived in Arcadia Bay died. You could see that there were deer, doe around, signs of life. And I think some of the buildings were not broken too. The two diners was still standing. Looking back, isn't it a little bit ridiculous that two people who were standing by a lighthouse survived and nobody else in the town did? We should know for a fact that David did survive because he was in the bunker, so... I mean, it's not as close-ended as it might appear to be. There could be survivors. I don't think I regret that decision, although I might have to go back and see what the alternative is first. Uh... Maybe I'll do that right now, after after looking at our choices and everything. I think everyone would be very interested in seeing what the alternative is too, so... Overall, um, yeah. Life is strange. Well, we didn't get to save Rachel or, or anything or see her, but I guess I shouldn't have been expecting for that, but it would have been very nice. Did my time with Chloe really overshadow every other single thing I've done throughout the course of these five days. Saving Alyssa multiple times. Talking Kate out of jumping. Trying out Joyce's cooking again after five years. Everything, everything. I don't know yet. What I can say is that I don't think this is the last Life is Strange video on this channel or anything like that. Obviously, I want to look into the alternative choices, but other than that, there are still some topics that I can think of. Like, I want to maybe compile my favorite scenes or something and share with you guys, see if you guys have anything in common with that list. Stuff like that. I think I'm going to go edit these videos, which means I'll have to go through all the scenes again and maybe come up with more well thought out things to say instead of just rambling on like I am right now. But a bittersweet ending. I hope Max and Chloe, at least for this main playthrough, I hope Max and Chloe do okay in the future. I hope not all of that was in vain. All of my hard work. Of course, we don't know what's going to happen from now on, but as long as you believe that you made the correct decision at the time of the decision being made, isn't that fine? We can't see into the future after all. So... I think it's fine to make a decision based off our current knowledge and information available. To make a choice that we are okay with, one that we can live with. I think that's fine. I'll let the credits roll and then we can look at our decisions after that.
Thank you, don't nod. Thank you for such a wonderful story. That makes sense. No other decisions matter in the fifth episode. Hoping that loading thing will actually load, because I'm interested in seeing... seeing what other people chose. Please load. Maybe I can go... Come on, why is it not loading? <laughs> I guess their servers are getting hammered? I don't know why it's not working. Oh, come on. Are you kidding me? I really want to see what everyone else has done. But I think right now, okay, right now it is 12, uh, almost 1 a.m. on the day of release. So it's been released for about 7 hours. So the stats are probably going to be pretty volatile anyway. I'll make sure to go back to this page and show off what other people have chosen. And uh, quite a few people actually added me on Steam. I don't know who the heck they are, but I saw that they play Life is Strange. So I guess they found me that way or something. So it'll be interesting to see what my friends have chosen too. Oh. Can't see any stats, but... Oh, David cannot get a scar during the fight with Jefferson? Cool. David didn't kill Jefferson. I saved the trucker. I saved Evan. I saved Alyssa. I saved the fisherman. I helped Joyce believe in David again. Told the truth about Rachel to Frank. I hugged Warren. Come on, is this really not going to load? God damn it. That's just a testament to the popularity of Life is Strange. You know, I didn't even know about this game when it first came out. I only found out about it, <laughs> oddly enough, from Tumblr. I was just looking at my dashboard and someone I follow reblogged a GIF set, or GIF set for you non-believers, of it. I believe it was of one where Chloe and Max were dancing in Chloe's room. And I don't know what about it made me want to play the game, but I did. I literally got the game at like 12 a.m., played it all the way to 2 a.m. And I still remember in episode 1, when I didn't know that my best friend Chloe dyed her hair blue, when Warren and Nathan were fighting in the parking lot, and then Chloe comes up in her truck, stops right in front of Max, and goes, Max? And then we go, Chloe? And, and then the light bulb turned on in my head. And I was like, oh, that's, that's Chloe. I should have put it together. But anyways, I'm rambling now, but... Uh, little moments like that really got to me. Anyways, we can't see any of this. I don't think there's anything else after we exit. Uh, we might have to wait until the refresh thing is done again, because I don't know why we can't do anything when it's refreshing. Oh, oh, wait, it's working now. What the heck? Oh, wait, this is for Chrysalis. <laughs> Whatever. Okay, exit. Life is Strange, Episode 5, Polarized. God damn it. God damn this game. You know what? Oh! Thanks for playing Life is Strange Season 1! Season 1! Share your reaction to episode using hashtag list finale. Season 1. Yes, there's been talks about the game getting a second season, but they have said that if they do do a second season, it would feature a completely different cast, and I agree. You know, no need to drag on the story of Max and Chloe for that long, right? But, oh my god, I'm rattling so much. Um, yeah. See you soon. Or actually, maybe we can... I wonder if we can go back and... Uh, try to see... I think I have to start a new save file. I don't... Okay, I need to go make a backup of my other save files, and then I'll come back with the other ending.